Still fighting the displacer beast. But not anymore. They just gained a level. Yes, we're taking forever to get through this game, but at the same time, we're also gaining lots of levels. This is probably the most intentional walkthroughs on YouTube. The rest are very half-assed. They're rushed, and there is nothing fantastic about them. My walkthrough, on the other hand, will remind you of the very first time you played the game. When you were lost like a motherfucker. Because you couldn't afford a clue book. And mom wouldn't buy it for you. I'll give you ten bucks if you hit the guy. Displacer beasts are hard to hit. They can shape, shift, uh, displace. Actually, I should say. But, uh, Hellbird directly critical to the fucking dome piece. We usually take them out. Rust monster! You definitely want to be careful of those guys. They will melt your armor in a heartbeat. Do not let them hit you. I repeat. Save your game. You let a rust monster hit you and you are fucked. Your plate mail will rust right off your bones. I got a question for you. Where the fuck are all these keys? Can you pick this yet, Fidget? You couldn't pick your way out of your nose. Jesus Christ. The fuck is the point of having a thief again? Exactly. This is why I don't take thieves. The cunning and the agile survive. Well, also the cunning and the people that know how to save their fucking game, too. That wasn't very agile. We have some bones here. Severius, the longsword. That is a good long sword with a shield. Some plate mail and some more bones. <laughs> the plate armor is not magical. Uh, a drop cleaver does not work in the other hand. I can't remember. I think Severus is a pretty devastating longsword. Definitely want to hang on to it. Hmm. Combination lock, be quick. No idea what that means. As long as the door opens, that's all I really give a shit about. We are back on level 10. Maybe we can get to level 11 from here. I don't know. 
We are in the hive. Which means you are going to fight a lot of mantis warriors. Which means get that lightning bolt out. And that remove paralysis. And get that save game out. That's another good one to have. More fucking bones. I have more bones than I got anything. That cleric is fucked. Gonna explore the hive here. It's more or less a little mini labyrinth of and shit. All right, the stairs up. Where do they go now? We got the raised dead place I was at earlier. All right, folks, uh, let's see here. This is gonna be my last video of the day. Uh, I know I promised to stay away from other videos until I was done, but I lied. I'm going to do something else because this is driving me fucking insane. Uh, I won't do any more RPGs until I'm done with either Beholder. But, uh, but for now, I need to rest my brain and at least do something else here. This wall was out of my fucking way. We can continue to the next level. Hey, look at that. Next level. All right. Maybe I'll do another video. I am pretty anxious to get that Dwarven Potion. Your fate lies in the stars. So now we're on level 11. Um, the last level of the game is level 12. Leave no stone unturned. The problem is, is we need to get the Dwarven Potion and return uh, Kiragar to the Dwarven people. Um... Now, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to do this in my video because I want to show how to kill Xanathar uh, with the Wand of Sylvanas and without the Wand. I want to do both endings. Um, so, of course, that's going to require alignment must be true. That's going to require some special attention to do it both ways. Six. You gotta watch these buttons, man. They're fucking tricky. The 
get real tricky because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, to be honest. I'm just running in circles pressing the same goddamn button over and over. That ain't doing shit now, is it? Well, we'll look into it further when I come back. Let's, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. A couple more videos.